commercial fishermen, we're, we're one of the last of the great hunters. How many people go out there and have to go and hunt for their food? And that's what we do. Abundant Seafood is based here in Charleston, South Carolina. Fishing uh, sustainability is important to me because it's a public resource we're fishing on. It doesn't belong to me. I'm out there fishing for the public. In the early 80s, there was destructive gear was allowed for a couple years. It was a time before sort of our science was good enough. You could have a great fishing trip, but it was too effective and it was destructive to the environment. On my fishing vessel, the way we fish, there's no nets. Everything's done by hook and line, and you feel the bite and you bring the fish up, and that's how we fish. Sustainability means fishing with the ecosystem, really being involved in the management process and looking towards the future so that um, our three-generation fishing family can perhaps be a many more generation fishing family. We've also gone this extra step of creating a community supported fishery program because there wasn't a way for local people here in Charleston to get access to the really fresh fish. And so we've been able to get our fish not only in the hands of the chefs at the restaurants, but in the hands of the people that live in our community straight off of our boat. Abundant Seafood is one of our primary seafood purveyors here in Charleston, but what makes them a little bit different is that Mark's one of the few captains that can sell directly to restaurants. When Mark and I started to work together, it's just about the same time people started to talk about sustainable seafood, and here I had this direct line to so much information, such beautiful product, which ultimately as chefs also give you not only inspiration, but a competitive edge. At the end of the day, product itself speaks volumes. Getting an honor like the James Beard Award for Leadership, our voice will now go beyond just Charleston, go beyond just the commercial fishing world. There's so many marks up and down the East Coast and on the West Coast that are struggling every day to stay in this and that are fighting really hard and doing the right thing. We're not in this for a short term. I want my grandkids to be able to go and eat good food. There's a lot of us out there that want to go and see the longevity of the fish stocks to go and continue. 